Friends, good afternoon. Today in God's Word, I'm sharing with you from Luke chapter 11, verse 9. These are the words of Jesus. He says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Jesus, as he often does, is using different sorts of words, parable language, to teach us the truth of his kingdom. And here he's speaking to us about prayer. It's not difficult to notice that from the way he describes it here, he intends that for us as his people, prayer is something in which we are insistent, in which we are regular, that we are daily coming to him and with intention and purpose and in an ongoing way that we are asking him for what we need. Prayer is not a once and done sort of idea that Jesus is presenting to us. He wants us to understand that for life here in his kingdom, in this world, that we need him continually and that we need to be going to him continually, asking him for what we need. What that implies to us is that we are people who are in need. So often we would like to think of ourselves as independent, uh, self-reliant, people who can handle things on our own. And indeed, as we go through life, Jesus does teach us to have wisdom. He teaches us knowledge and gives us what we need to live and to better understand the world in which we live. But it's never apart from the fact that we are desperately needy people. I don't suppose we like to think of ourselves that way, but we are people who are desperately in need of our Savior, of our God who created us and loves us. And he's actually created us to be people who continually are going to him. This is not to say that we are ripping into ourselves and putting ourselves down and saying that we can do nothing at all. The fact is that we, in and of ourselves, would not be alive, that we wouldn't be able to breathe in and out, that we would not be able to do anything. Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. But he says that those who abide in him are those who bear much fruit. And so we are people who seek to, who seek to bear fruit for Jesus and his kingdom. And that means that we are people who are always going to him. Going to him with the needs that we have and the needs that other people have. And as we do that, trusting that he will be able to give us what we need. The strength and the power to serve him. That's why his spirit whom he has poured out into this world, as we see it in Acts chapter 2, is so very important. It is the Spirit of God who leads us and empowers us to live the life that he has called us to live. This is a life to which he is calling you, a life of prayer, a life of dependence on Jesus. Jesus, who loves you and me and who gave himself for us so that we could experience the forgiveness of our sins and everlasting life. Life here in this world, as well as life to come in heaven, is a life that is based on Jesus Christ and his love for us. We live here with him, and then in the future we will live with him, and we look forward to that. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your love for us. We thank you for the gift of prayer. Help us daily and hourly, moment by moment, to be coming to you, trusting in you, leaning on you for what we need so that in our lives, in all that takes place, you are honored in and through us. These things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessings to you.